welcome back to the hair I wear for wigs by pattyspearls.com. I'm Lauren and today is a little different. I'm doing a bit of a retake on a review that I did yesterday of this 22 inch Maxwella heat friendly synthetic wig by Beltress. Now I have reviewed a lot of Beltress pieces and I have loved all of the ones that I have reviewed. The hair fibers have felt amazing. The fit has been good. Everything has been spot on, but I did this review yesterday of this wig and I thought I was loving it and I went back and I watched um, the shot where I spun to the back and I separated the hair and I realized when I did that exactly how thin this wig was. Um, the wefting in the back was very obvious and I really wanted to hop on here and kind of do a redo uh, so you can get you know all the nuts and bolts of this piece before you decide if this is something that you want to purchase now i just want to say that all of my wig reviews are my honest opinion i do not earn commission on wigs that you buy after watching my videos um so it's really nothing in it for me to give you like this you know over the top ooh and ah review about something so i want you to know that everything i tell you is my opinion um you know a different pieces and different colors look different on all types of ladies and just because I don't love a blonde doesn't mean you're gonna love a blonde or a style or anything like that so just know that everything I say I'm not getting paid um, to give a review one way or the other so let's go into this wig I will tell you what I love about it and I will tell you what I didn't love so much about it so again this is Maxwella she is by Belle Trust she is a 22 inch she is a long piece, a 22 inch heat friendly wig. Uh, she has a lace front, a monofilament top, and she is an average cap size. Now that's one of the things that was a little off for me. I'm typically an average cap size and the other bell truss pieces have fit me well, but I will say this one, um, especially around the ears, like I feel like if I pull if I pull this wig down as far as it will go, it comes like midway to my ear. So it's a little bunchy up on top of my ear and the wig or the, um, the ear tabs, I lost my words there. My, the ear tabs are a little low for me. So I feel like after wearing this for a while, because it's just kind of sitting on top of my ear and bunching a little bit, that it would get uncomfortable. So I'm not really sure why this cap is fitting bigger than the other. So just know that if you have a larger head, then you know this may work really well for you. But if you typically run average to the smaller side, this is not going to be a very comfortable fit for you. Um, okay, so this color, I love the name of this color. It is Champagne with Apple Pie. I mean, that just sounds delicious. Yes, please. Um, if you go online and look at the color swatch, it looks a lot more platinum online than it does in person. Um, there is definitely some really light, ashy, blonde, you know, borderline platinum pieces in here, but it's a very dimensional look. So it's mixed in with some honey blonde pieces, um, and then it has this really nice light brown root. I really like the root on this. Uh, the lace is really short, like you don't have a lot of lace. I mean, it starts right there and then the knotting starts just right above that lace. So you don't have a lot of lace to work with in the front, but I still think it's a natural look. Um, and because this is a lighter color, the knotting is not as obvious as it would be on darker pieces. So I think this color really is beautiful. Um, I'm not mad about the color at all. I think it is a gorgeous, cooler, ashier tone blonde. So if you're trying to find a blonde that's not quite as warm, you know, trying to get away from those honey blondes or caramel pieces, this is gonna be a great color for you. Okay, so like I said, this is a 22 inch length. The shortest layer up here um, is 16 inches. From the nape down is 16 inches. And another thing I have some beef with, and this is, this is just my thing with curl. Like this is not, you know, specific to this piece. Other pieces do this, but I like a curl that curls away from my face. Um, and so they started the curl pattern spot on on this side, it's curling away, and they just continued the same um, pattern all the way around. So by the time it got to the front, it's curling 
in. So I really wish it curled out. I think that's the most natural um, curl pattern because it looked like, you know, you took your own um, curling iron and curled it away, but this one wants to curl in. Um, the wave pattern is beautiful. It's almost like this kind of 40s, like pinup wave. It's really pretty, um, you know, it's not super tight. It's just loose and just falls beautifully. I really like the curl pattern on this. Okay, so let's get into the density and um, why I had to kind of go back and change my review on this. Oh, let me say one more thing. Um, this piece has been shedding a lot. I took it out of the box and I combed through it one time to adjust the part line and to loosen up the curls and a lot of hair came out. And then when I was putting it away yesterday, I combed it one more time, or gently picked through it with a wide tooth comb, um, and more hair came out. And then I put it on today to do this second review and gently comb through it again, and more hair came out. So this piece, uh, there's a lot of hair coming out of it. It's shedding a lot. And I also noticed, and it's gonna be really hard to see because I'm on a white background, but if I were in a black background here, you would see there are a lot of return hairs that are kind of flying away here up top. Um, that's nothing that couldn't be fixed with a little like argon oil or some smoothing balm just to kind of lightly pat down those return hairs, but they are flying away. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the 360 shot of Maxwella. So there's the side, and then in the back, you can see that, like when I separate the hair, you can see a lot of that wefting. Like if you were out and about and you wanted to fluff your curls and bring them to the front, I mean, do you see how thin and how much you can see back there? That was my beef with this wig. And I reviewed another bell truss. It was a topper. It was the Mono Wave. And again, that piece did not have a lot of hair in the back. You'd had to have a lot of bio hair to blend that and make it look um, really natural. So I almost feel like, I mean, this is the same curl pattern as the monotop. So I almost feel like they took this wig and turned it into a topper. It's the same density, the same curl pattern, but again, just not a lot to work with back there. Um, so I just wanted y'all to be aware of that because it is a beautiful wig. And I know, um, a lot of ladies really want this look. They love the length. They love the curl pattern, but just be aware that it is really thin in the back. Okay. So I want to end on a positive note. It's not that I hate this wig. I love the color. The color is beautiful. Like I said, the curl pattern is spot on. Um, but I just want y'all to know before you make that purchase. Okay, this is the hair I am wearing today, the 22-inch Maxwella by Belle Tress. If you need her in your life, head over to wigsbypattiespearls.com, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.